done sport when I was 15 years old. That's why I was doing track and field, so 100 meter sprint, 200 if I was lucky, because I've done like 200 meters. Then from there, I've done bodybuilding, do the injury from track and field, and then now I do powerlifting. Uh, powerlifting for me, because I had the size from bodybuilding and I had strength, and it was just something that I could just do, and it was very convenient in the gym because having a family was just hard to go to training. Whereas if I'm at work and I've got an hour break or two hour break, I have to do my training right there and then in the gym. And uh, from there it started with luck and it just progressed into being a national champion and so forth. The proud moment for me was when I was in Canada for the international competition. And it was the last deadlift and it was for the gold. Uh, prior to that, I missed the deadlift. Same weight, 325, I missed the deadlift. Had another chance to do it. And I remember why I came here to Canada to do this. It wasn't just for me I was doing it, but for my son as well. And he said to make sure I come back with a medal. And that was the reason why I had to push hard. And from there, it all stays in my heart at that moment. Uh, for me, failure. So knowing or having an attempt to do something and I failed on it, just give me that reason to do it. So if I've missed out on something, I don't accept it as that's it. I always want to make sure I take a step further to push forward. <laughs> uh, it has to be deadlifts. Deadlift has to be in the program. Like, I don't care from the start or the end, it has to be in the program. Uh, the most important lesson for me has to be don't let what you can't do now get in the way of what you're destined to be. So key goals for me when it comes to nutrition and there's a lesson I learned myself is just to make sure that you're always on point with nutrition. So with that being said, make sure that you set that calories that you are set out to eat um, and just take nutrition as serious as it is with your training. Right, so now it's the protein dips. The protein dips, I'm, I'm sorry, I even put one with me today as well. Like, I, I admit, I, it's, it's a favorite song. <laughs> so Maximus for me, because they focus a lot on the product, the quality of the protein as well. And that for me is really important when it comes to taking protein shakes. I do. In fact, I've got two. So the first one is when I'm about to do my last lift on any workout, I always bring my, my chain and it's got a locket and inside I lock it, it's my family. Two is I've got this weird thing when I'm about to do get into a serious lift, my headphones are on and I just pretend no one's around. And I just have this, this image of me doing the lift before I actually perform. And I always stick with doing that all the time. To never let failure tell you that that's the end of the road. If you experience failure, just to see it as, see failure as a way of how to learn and how to become better. Instead of saying, oh, I failed, so it doesn't mean it's for me. Uh, so, my mom never told me that you should never tell your goals, but say that I've got big goals coming up within sports, within powerlifting to be specific. Fun. I'll go. I'll go in Ireland. <laughs> I'll go in Ireland. Some from Cork and people are like, really? You're Irish? And I'm like, yeah, do the Irish accent. I'm like, yeah, if I'm drunk maybe, but you know, it ain't gonna happen just like that. <laughs> That's the fun fact though. So my Irish accent comes out when I'm drunk. There you go. <laughs> got it. <laughs>